VR chat camera or VRC lens. Which one should you use and which one is better? Which one do you prefer and which one does perform better? Today we're gonna see which one performs better and to see if you're going to switch to the VRC lens or if you're going to stick to the VR chat's regular camera. Starting off with the VR chats camera, it is already built in into the game and you simply spawn it with the menu and this is what you get. Now the VR chats camera improved a lot throughout the years and I definitely have to say it doesn't disappoint. But just how good is this camera? There's a bunch of little options that you can mess around with and that is everything is built in into the game. You don't need to change anything in Unity was it with the VRC lens you actually have to you know change its settings in game and there are some few things that you can change on it as well but anyway with the VR chats camera you get a you're able to you able to have it as default have it local or have a world so that is when you drop it you can either drop it in a world and then you can walk away from it it is just going to stay there you're, you're also able to grab it and move it around as you do. Um, behavior, there is smooth, it smooths out your movement. So let's say if you have shaky hands, then this is definitely going to help you. Or if you're in a, let's say an action world, then this would make your videos look a little bit better. There is a also a look at me option, which you are just able to move around and keep the camera in one position. A lot of streamers use this actually and it's a very useful feature and it kind of follows you like a drone. It's pretty cool and definitely gets a thumbs up. There is also a auto level which basically l makes it look like it's on a tripod. So moving it up and down is like that. It basically kind of looks like a robot hand but <laughs> overall it is definitely interesting now i haven't used this feature myself but it is definitely nice there to have if you need it switching on to the focus now this is the main part that's going to make this camera pop and make your photos a lot a lot better and i suggest to use it if you're going to take pictures or make set videos use just use a full auto or this second one basically without the focus uh, you just get a raw image and raw picture of the world that you're in and if it goes behind there's still a little bit of auto but not as much when it's on here we have a full auto on and you can definitely see that it takes makes a quite a bit of difference and it definitely takes the priority thing that's in front and makes everything else blurry now this is a very very nice feature so i definitely recommend using it if you don't know about it yet next thing on the list is we have pins which basically allows you to pin your camera at certain angles so then you can keep the tablet drop the camera in the world and then make three different individual pins and then you can switch to them with this tablet and they're gonna, gonna go so you can pin a camera in the corner in a different corner and in another corner and you can basically sw you can use this tablet to switch to the pins so let's say if you're doing like a stand-up video or you know you want to do like an action shot it is definitely a nice feature to have of course on the list we also have a five second timer which is also very nice to have and some very nice masks now what these masks do is basically you can make your background transparent you can you know only appear you can only make it so that you appear in your images which is you know in public worlds let's say if you want to take a picture of your friend or someone or yourself you can turn off you can turn on the option and it, they will disappear and then you can turn it back on again I usually don't mess around with this, but it's definitely nice. It's definitely nice to have. Uh, lens visibility, where you can either set it to ghost or solid. And this only works if you drop it in a world and then you're able to see it right there. It can be transparent. It can be it can, it can be transparent if it's messing with your, you know, if, if it's really annoying to you or it can be like this solid and it kind of looks like the ghost from Destiny 2, not going to lie, but it is definitely a niche niche design. Um, now, I don't know why this option exists other than just, you know, not being in your field of view, because when when you're using other cameras to record it I'm pretty sure you don't 
won't see other people's cameras, but still, it's a very nice feature to have, so if you don't want it there, you can just take it away. <laughs> And second to last thing we have is filters. Now I haven't used these filters myself and I don't use them that much, but I'm gonna go through all of them anyway, just to show you off how they look like. There is a glitch filter, which kind of makes your videos look very, very odd. And if you want to do a glitch effect, it's pretty nice for like a cheap, cheap editing, but you can do some, you can do better ones in the actual editing. There's also speed if you want to appear really fast, like you're running. And this can be nice for like some cinematic running shots. But other than that, I don't see it being very useful. It is kind of glitchy though, but hey, it's very, it's nice. To, it's there if you need it. There's also Hypno for, you know, these are mostly just going to be used for videos, but you can do some pretty cool pictures with them as well. There's also Pixels, which makes your videos look like a quest resolution. Um, and it is pretty nice to have. And I did some pretty silly photos with this one. It's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> There's also Sketch. Now this one is actually cool if you wanna do like, um, make like a sketch or even do some, I don't know, just, something in that fashion it is very nice it's actually a really nice filter there's also sparkles for those cute pictures that you want to take and if you want to take them this one is actually very nice i like this one as well and the last thing we have is resolution now this is pretty much i haven't messed with this one so i'm not able to tell you a lot about this feature but you're able to take up to 4k pictures now i do have to say if you have a little bit of a weaker computer i wouldn't recommend doing this because even i've heard even people with decent computers when they take the pictures they would either crash or they would you know lag out extremely um, I'd say if you're in a closed world with not, not that many people, then you can use this for pictures. But if you're in a super huge crowded world, then I would avoid from these options here. I usually stay up to 1080p or, you know, 4K, but 8K is a bit too much, but it's there if you need it. There's also a streaming mode, which you can see me over there. Um, and it is very nice. You can switch to stream mode and photo mode in a second So you don't have to go through your menu and activate it from here So it is very very nice to have and there's also lock which basically locks your this frame in place So you don't accidentally move it if you're streaming or you know Don't actually snatch it. So again very nice feature to have we also can't forget the zoom option, which is right over here and you use it by just sliding this little slider and it doesn't zoom in that much, but I would say you don't need anything more than this. It is decent amount of zoom in and zoom out. You get a kind of fish eye look, which is very nice. I'm a huge, huge fan of the fish eye and I even own it on a lens in real life. And I just take so many good photos with this. You can take, you know, even funny meme photos, but fisheye is definitely nice. And when it comes to the zoom in, it's, it's, it's decent. I, I wouldn't say you don't, I don't say, I wouldn't say you need anything more than this. And also on the right, you have aperture so you can make your photos really blurry or you can make them as sharp as possible. But overall, that is your VRChat camera. There is a lot of options that you get with it and it is very nice and it looks like a phone or a tablet in a way. They did a very, very nice polish of it for all the people that remember the past VRChat camera. It wasn't great whatsoever. So this thing is definitely amazing and I mean, you have to think about that it comes built in in the game so you don't have to purchase anything additional with it like with the VRC lens, you have to buy it. But anyway, uh, let's switch over to the VRC lens and see what it has to offer. And now we have a camera that is called VRC lens. It is very stylish and it looks very nice. I changed the color of it though to match my avatar, which you are able to do. So that is already one plus of this camera is you are able to fully texture it. Although I would have to say the UV maps on it is not great, but hey, you can still texture it and there's a screen here. You're not able to see it in a bit. You will, but mostly this front side, you're able to texture and change the color. So it can really, really mean uh, and really fit the avatar. But anyway, let's see what this guy has to offer. And then at the end of the video, we're going to have some comparison pictures between VRC camera and the VRC lens. Anyway, let's get into it. 
So VRC lens, this is how it looks like and it almost looks like a, either like an old Sony or Canon camera and that's what I immediately love about it. You get the really photographer feeling with this thing and I do have to say that it's still codependent uh, of the VRChat camera. You still use this to press down and take the pictures with this but you basically, this is kind of a shoot, shoot and point or point and shoot thing. But so VRC lens is not complete without this camera, but still I would say that this camera is much better and it can pull off much sharper and much better pictures than the VRChat's camera. Um, now, you actually, now you actually control this camera with your quick menu um, and, you, and now you can see there's a disable button and enable button. And now there's a lot of features here um, and I don't think I want to go through all of them because it's going to take way too long, but it should give you an idea of what is going on and what is happening. In advance, there is a quick selfie, which you use basically to take a selfie, as you can see right there. It turns off. And one small advantage with this camera is that it has a really crazy zoom. For example, if I use the scroll wheel to zoom in, See, this is about the what VR Chat's camera can do, but this guy is almost the double. So you can zoom in <laughs> pretty far and while keeping the autofocus still pretty good. And for example, that shot, it is very, very nice. And it has a really, really crazy zoom in. Now, one cool feature that VRC Lens has is drone mode, where basically it's pretty self-explanatory. It's basically kind of, it's basically a drone in real life. And it's pretty cool because you can sit, stay in one place in the world while you use your basically a pup hand puppet with the 3.0 menu to move your camera around and you can f get some really cool shots and maybe f and you can even fly out the world and get to and get to places that you otherwise wouldn't be able to with your avatar. Now this is a really nice feature for people who uh, want to either showcase their world or they just want to see what's out there and yes you can even spy with people in this but uh, they will be able to see the your camera so unlike the VRChat camera where in some scenarios they can't see it VRC lens you're always able to see it and it doesn't show who like it doesn't show the name above it but it's you know if they know that you have VRC lens then they're gonna know that it's you but yes drone feature is definitely where VRC lens gets you know where it sparkles and where it kind of you know explodes and it is very very cool feature I made a ton of videos with this guy and it is very very cool now, of course, just like the VRChat's camera, you are also able to drop this camera in the world and then have it follow you. There's also display, which basically kind of makes another display in front of you. So let's say if you're using a drone mode, then basically this really helps. It's kind of like an extra window, but even you have a small one here, but this is like a bigger one and it is really cool to have and you can even change its position. There's also a vertical point and which basically kind of acts like a phone. So if you want to take some nice pictures like a phone, then there is an option there instead of doing this and this and then dropping it in the world. Speaking about dropping it in the world, yes, you're able to drop this camera away and it's going to stay there and you control it still with your menu through here and you know, you can just walk away from it. So let's say if you're taking a group picture, then you're able to just drop it there, then go to your point and then still take a picture with your VRChat camera. Now, when it comes to the settings of the, v of the VRC lens and it's actual, you know, uh, aperture and stuff like that uh, you're at you actually change those in the unity which is actually not hard to do whatsoever while you're because uh, how VRC lens works is that you add it to your avatar as an add-on in unity and as you do that you mess with its settings in unity so basically overall um, you there is a little bit it kind of it acts so overall it acts like a real camera where you can change you know smaller bits and smaller bits and pieces that you're not able to do otherwise on the on the VR chats camera and with this little thing here in my finger is basically a because it, this is a touchpad so if you want to like focus on that chair or focus on the doors then you're just able to do so with a simple touch and it is very very cool 
Overall, I would say VRC lens is really cool and it has way more features than the VRChat's camera has. But I mean, if you're not serious about photography and if you're not serious about taking proper pictures, then I would say the VRChat's camera is decent enough for you. Although I would still go with VRC lens if you're able to purchase it, of course, which is, I believe, $10 or so, maybe more, I could be mistaken, but it's not much. It's not that much and it just it's just a little bit of a hassle to, you know, because there's a small extra work to put to put it to your avatar and every time you put it on your avatar, you get a new avatar, you have to do it. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make some, we're gonna have some side pictures now right here with the VR chat cam, with the VR chat's camera and the VRC lens camera. So you be the judge at the end of the day on which one you think is better. Um, but yeah, that's it for mostly for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, sorry about my voice. I'm very sick. I have a headache, but I wanted to go ahead and make this video because it's an interesting topic. As a photographer, I love talking about cameras and such. And I'm sorry if it wasn't too much information because again, I'm sick and I might go back to this sometime again. Anyway, take a look at those comparison pictures and yeah, I will see you around.